Okay, I'm going to start with the skin first. I actually wanted to try this with you because I've obviously never tried it before. The e.l.f. Holy Hydration Face Cream contains hyaluronic acid and peptide complex. When I was shopping at Target, um, I saw this and I've been wanting to get it for a long time. It's supposed to be really good for oily skin. So we're going to test it out. I don't know. I'm kind of weird when it comes to like skincare products that come from brands that establish themselves first as a makeup um but who knows it could it could be an actually good product so if you guys try this and you're oily let me know if this works for you because i've been struggling with finding a lightweight cream that works with my oily skin which is crazy it's out of control you guys but actually feels really nice on the skin okay let's move on i am going to start off with the eyes today just because I feel like I want to do something blue. I'm wearing this like kiss shirt and this blue is like giving me some sort of vibes. And I actually have some of the palettes from the Bite Size Duo collection that I want to play with today. So let me grab my concealer. First palette I'm going to use today is the Carnival Candy palette. Um, I'm going to use this light beige. And yep, you guessed right. That's going to go underneath the brow bone. I actually haven't been taking the concealer up to the brow bone anymore just because I feel like sometimes it looks a little too white. Um, it's just, it can look a little odd in my personal opinion. So I've just been taking it directly onto the lid and to the crease. But this eyeshadow is just going to help us blend all the other colors. That way there's no like hard edges or anything like that. I think I want to go in with, oh, I think I want to go in with this one. I'm probably going to use these two and then this one. I know for sure I want to use it all over the lid, but let's, let's play around with some color. This is a really nice brown. Just bringing that all around just like that. And then I'm going to go back with that brush that I had on earlier. No additional product. And I'm just going to blend that into the crease just to soften up the edges. Just like that. I'm going to keep working with that same brush. All I do is just clean it off in my Veramona color switch. And now I'm going to pick up this red brown. And that one is going to go a little bit lower. So maybe I'll have to switch brushes. I'm not sure. But all I'm going to do is, again, just place that color a little bit lower oh my goodness this is beautiful and I like that these you can actually work with them like they're obviously pigmented but it gives you room to play with the color and like build it up more so I'm just going to place that right here and then I'm gonna bring this in but I'm not gonna bring it in all the way like I normally do I'm just going to stop about halfway and then I'm going to bring it into the lid, closest to the lash line. Eyeshadows are blending super nice. I tabbed in a little bit of the concealer into like the front, not really doing a cut crease. Now I'm going to go into the Akayu palette. I'm going to go ahead and take that lightest blue and I'm going to tap it in. Oh my gosh, that is gorgeous. This color is pretty much the same color that is in the BFF palette from BH Cosmetics. So if you guys maybe have been wanting that palette just for this baby blue color, here you go. You have this one in the e.l.f. one for $3. Just to spice things up a little bit, if you will, I'm going to use a brush, get it wet, and then I'm going to go with this shimmery shade right next to that matte baby blue. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tap it in between these colors. To complete this look, I am going to top it off with this e.l.f. eyeliner. I honestly haven't used this one in years, but I do remember it being really good. So I'm just going to do a wing. I have been really into like smoking out the end of the wing. I don't have a black eyeshadow by e.l.f. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. But let's do the wing for now. You know that one picture that you keep staring at and the more you stare at it, the least you like it? This is me right now with this eye look. It's driving me absolutely nuts. So I'm just going to step away from it. I'm going to chill for a minute 
and we're gonna start with the face and so dramatic <laughs> okay so i like to mix two primers from elf because these are honestly both my top favorites for the pore area which is my problem area the matte and poreless primer mm. and i'm only gonna apply this to my troubled areas oh i just finished eating my husband found this spot where they sell Follos asados and girl, let me tell you, they hit the spot. They were so good and I was so hungry already. For the rest of the face, if I do want this to last all day long, I do go in with the e.l.f. Mint Melt. You can also use the Jelly Pop Primer. That one works equally as good. This is just like super sticky stuff. Okay, so for foundation, of course, Avi Noda, e.l.f. Camel CC Cream. I finally picked up a a different shade this is medium 330w i love how this cc cream makes my skin feel like uh, i know i've talked about this before but my skin is just going through it you guys and it really makes me feel so insecure i hate it i hate that it gets to me so bad <clears throat> but i also you know like this is my life this is like my job is to put my face out there and when my face doesn't look good i don't feel good about myself but this CC cream, it definitely makes my skin look so much better. Now, I'm going to conceal using the Hydrating Camel Concealer in Light Beige. I actually like this one a little bit more than their original one because it does hydrate the skin really, really nicely. And it conceals at the same time. It's like very, very full coverage. So, I'm actually going to use this to... Kind of contour the sides of the nose and we're gonna bring it out apply it here to snatch the face back and on the chin and of course the nose since i do contour i'm also going to let this sit bake whatever you call it for a few seconds um and then once that's a little bit thicker then we're gonna go in and blend all right lashes are on concealer is getting nice and thick now we're gonna go in and blend it i actually picked up this little trick if you will from jackie Ina. i love watching her content she's so hilarious and it really does make a difference in the way the concealer goes on it just goes on a little bit thicker because this one is super creamy and do you see how it gives you that nice little sheen and this color is actually perfect i'm going to use the light and medium halo setting powder and i just like to tap it into the skin tap 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 tapping it in making sure it gets right in those creases and then using the medium setting powder I'm just going in with a little bit. I don't go too crazy, but I apply just enough to set the skin. Moving on to the contour and bronzing palette. I picked this one up. Yeah, actually I'm just gonna bronze the face with this. And I did go back and fix the eyeshadow a little bit more because it was really bugging me. I hate being such a perfectionist with my eyeshadow. For the blush, these have been one of my favorite. I picked up a new shade because I have um, Spiced Apple and I really like it, but I wanted something more peachy. This one's called White Peach. Oh, that's really pretty. The highlighter that I'm going to use today is the same one from this palette. I've went ahead and lined the lips using the e.l.f. Retro Paradise Lip Liner in brown. It's the only like e.l.f. lip liner that I own. And this is also the only e.l.f. lipstick that I own. If you guys like any of their lipsticks or liquid lipsticks, let me know. I know some of their lip glosses are really good. This one is called Creme. I'm just going to apply it to the center. It's a little more pinky. But I'm going to top it off with a nude lip gloss and I think it'll look really good and then I just use my finger to like tap in and I'm gonna add a little bit of the mint melt lip plumping gloss in the shade chocolate hair is fixed kind of it's hair washing day so I'm not too worried about it I'm gonna just finish off the skin the face the makeup with the stay all night microfine mist setter setter setting mist 
This really, really locks in the makeup. And here you have a full face using only e.l.f. makeup. What do you guys think of this look? Honestly, I'm going to rate myself a 5 out of 10. This look could totally be a little bit better. I don't know if it was my skills today or if it was the eyeshadow, but something didn't go quite right. But that's okay. That just goes to show you that not every day will you have a bomb makeup look. That's okay. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial. Definitely let me know in the comment section down below what brand you want to see next. I have so much content coming for you guys in the upcoming weeks. I am finally going to start integrating lifestyle videos. I have a shower routine coming up. I'm going to show you guys my hygiene when I'm in the shower and how I layer my body products in order to smell so delicious like up until the next morning so i hope you guys are ready make sure you're subscribed and have your bell notifications on so you don't miss any of my uploads and until next time i will see you guys in my next video bye